What made you come back, or more importantly, what made you go into retirement in the first place? Um, fatigue, uh, uh, grouchiness, a number of things. It, it sort of hit the whole group about the same time. We've been traveling for roughly 17 years in the last 10 years, uh, about 300 concerts a year, and it got to be too much. What did you do then? Uh, I just sat around for a while and did nothing, and then gradually uh, uh, Dave got into writing his symphonic works, and I started working on a book, and uh, Gene Wright went out to the coast, Joe Morello does drum clinics, and uh, mm -hmm. we started to miss playing, so I began recording on my own. I worked some with Jim Hall, and then I started coming up here. This is the only club I've played in probably about 25 years, just so I can play with these guys. You're very nervous right now. Why? Is it <laughs> me? You're so no, calm no, no, when no. you're playing, or are you calm? Is <laughs> that just a facade? That's a uh, total huge fraud, is uh, <laughs> the honest truth. You look absolutely composed, and you coax this. I know nothing about jazz. Does that distress you? Not that a I bit. should be sitting here talking to you? No, I'm delighted. From what I do know, the people that, that do know and the people that I listen to tell me that you have the sweetest sounding saxophone in the entire world. And it just seems to come out very gently. Your sound is not uh, frenetic or, or wild. Um, it's hard to believe that you ever stopped playing it. Uh, I lucked out in many ways because I really don't deserve it to, to have stuck with me. I really didn't play for about three years at all before I went back to recording. And in some ways it may have helped.